Okay, wizard is getting out of hand. I just had a chat GPT style conversation with my design software as it updated my designs and modified them in real time. I'll admit, I'm getting a little scared for my design job right now. So come with me as we take a first look at wizard's auto designer 2.0. So I have a design here that I previously created with Wizard 1.0. Now, if I wanna modify this, I can select all of the elements, click on Auto Designer 2.0, and then you'll see this chat prompt come up. So I want it to add some options to this screen. So I'm gonna ask it to add login for Facebook, Apple, and Google. And I wanna make sure that it puts it below the Create button. So it's gonna start going to work and real-time streaming what it's adding to this design. So it's building this design, it's adding a new section here, it's adding new buttons. Okay, now we can choose to use this design. So I'm gonna do that and it's added it to this screen. I'm just gonna expand this device screen here so that we can see it. Okay, so it's added in these buttons. That's pretty awesome, but there's some more stuff that I wanna tweak. So I'm gonna select all of these elements again and I'm going to go to modify. And then this time I wanna ask it to do a couple of other things. I want it to reduce the white space that's above this button. And then I also wanted to separate out the options and add like a divider and a heading. I'm gonna use this in the design and there we go. So it's added in this separator, it's added in a heading and it looks really great. What if we need to add a new screen to this entirely that matches this current design? Well, we can generate screens as well from here. And I'm gonna select mobile as my template and I'm gonna type a description. And for this one, I need a notification screen. So something where the users can check mark all of the notifications that they want or uncheck them if they want them turned off. So I'm just gonna describe what I need here. And when I do that, you'll notice that it presents you with two options. You can either go for high precision or for uh, creative exploration. And so I want this one to be precise. I want it to kind of do exactly what I've said. Okay, so it has generated something that looks like toggles to me, but let's go ahead and place this on the canvas and see what we've got here. So yes, there's some issues here with spacing at the top. So let's fix those first. I'm gonna highlight this top section here. So the paragraph and the heading, and I'm going to tell it that I want to add more padding around the top and the left side of these elements that I've selected. And there we go, it's done that. I gotta scoot this over a little bit because I didn't tell them exactly how much padding. I wasn't specific enough, so we'll move that by hand. Next, I asked for checkboxes, it gave me toggles, so I'm just going to select all of these, modify selection again, and I'm gonna ask it to change these to check boxes. All right, so it has made me some check boxes, but none of these are actually checked. So I wanna to continue to iterate and make more changes. And this time, I'm gonna ask it to add a check mark to some of the check boxes. Okay, now we've got some perfectly matching purple check marks in here, and we'll apply that. Looks good, I'm gonna move this over so that it's spaced correctly. And that's a lot closer to what I had envisioned when I had the initial prompt. I wanna generate something entirely new here. And this one's gonna be a real estate listing website for desktop. And I'm just gonna give it um, the instructions to make something light and clean and modern. Okay, so it is generating something for me here that is looking pretty good. Um, I have to say overall first impressions compared to Wizard 1.0, this is a lot more refined. It's a lot better. There's a nice hero up here, a nice um, search filter, a grid of featured properties. Everything is just a little bit more fleshed out. Uh, there are other screens here that look really good too. I like all of the categories and the side search bar here. Um, really good starting point. So if I wanted to add another screen to this, let's say I had another idea or I wanna explore other options for this landing page. I am going to generate uh, screens and I'm gonna select desktop and I wanna start from a wireframe. So we'll upload something that I quickly sketched out and then it's gonna start creating me this design based on that wireframe. We're gonna add that to the screen and there it is. 
not bad it looks just like my wireframe uh, you can see here that it's got the hero image the search bar the hot listings i did not instruct it to add a headline or a description so let's do that now i'm going to ask it to add in a nice title and description here and now i have two versions of this landing page that i can show to stakeholders now i can also completely change the color scheme of this design and i'll do that by generating a theme so i will click generate theme and then I will describe using text the color that I want. So I want a blue color. And then I want to preview the generated theme so that I can compare. And when I click on it, I can now apply that if I like it and it becomes blue. Being able to change the fonts across your designs is normally not an easy task, but Auto Designer makes it really simple to do. So I can now generate a theme and type a description and I'm gonna ask it to change the font to Roboto. And now I can preview the generated theme. That was really fast. And so this is the original font. This is Roboto in black. I don't know why it changed the color. I didn't ask it to, but we'll go ahead and use that generated theme. So I want to add an additional screen here. And I will do that by grabbing a screenshot that I took of another app. You can use Dribbble for this. I like to use Mobbin because it's got a great collection of real app screenshots. And there's a link to that in the description. So I'm just gonna select that screenshot that I took and now it's going to bring it in here. And all of this is now editable UI design. Now I like the look and the style of this and I wanna apply that to all my other screens. So now I'm going to go to generate theme. I'm going to choose upload a screenshot and then I will select that screenshot again. Same thing, and this time what it's going to do is make all of my other screens look like that one that I'm uploading. And there it is, that matches perfectly. Now everything is in sync, it all looks the way I want, pretty cool. I think there are still some inconsistencies when you try to ask it to do nearly the identical thing on two separate occasions, you might get two very different results. And sometimes there are unintended things like when I asked it to change a font, but it also changed the color scheme. So part of our work is getting better at prompt engineering and being very specific about what you ask it to do. And also I found that taking it in stages is the best way to go. So if you do ask it for something and it doesn't quite do what you want it to do, just let it finish generating that thing and then try again in a different way ask it in a different way, or maybe use a screenshot or a wireframe the next time around. And each time you should be able to get closer to your ideal vision. And I think that's what's really great about Wizard. It can help you be creative. It can help you explore possibilities and make changes as you go much more quickly than if you were doing things by hand. Wizard was also just recently acquired by Miro, so I'm sure some big awesome improvements are on the way. You can use my discount to Wizard and it will be linked in the description below. And don't panic too much about losing your design job to AI. There's still a lot of good work for us to do as product designers and learning how to use these tools to speed up our our workflow is only going to make it better. So if you're interested in learning how to do that kind of stuff, come check out my product design course. All right, everybody give it a try and let me know in the comments what you think and watch these other videos about wizard next.